haven't been to a PyCon Sprint before, um, you should definitely try and, and uh, make sure you stay for the next one. So we're here uh, sprinting on the Twisted Project. and um... The sprints are great because they don't just let you put a face to a name, they let you put a person to you know, ideas that you're working with. Uh, sprinting is an excellent way to get everyone get everyone together, especially new contributors. We have, I think, a half dozen or more people who have already, you know, submitted patches, gotten tickets closed out. This has been tremendous for us, and you know, beginners keep you honest about how good your documentation is, about how good your new contributor guidelines are. So we've been really excited to see all of these new people here at PyCon. We have a group who is working on generating converter, writing up converters for the IPython interactive notebooks. RPC protocols on improving the web stack, improving testing. It's amazing because you're really working with core people on all sorts of projects. So the three things that you get here are you come and you learn a lot of random items, you get to be around a lot of people, and you give yourself the freedom to explore a bunch of things you don't know. I've been having a good time just chatting with people. Um, I'm on the board of Open Hatch. Open Hatch! <laughs> <laughs> it's been great, both having people using our missions to get caught up on the tools that they need to contribute, and also actually contributing to the Open Hatch code base. Like all people coming to the sprints, you have a choice of either working on stuff you've already worked on, or you have no idea what you're doing. And we are now engaged. <laughs> We're engaged. Excellent. Woo. I came to PyCon, and now all my tests pass. Hello! Sprints are amazing! <laughs> okay, uh, Okay. so I came to the PyCon Sprints here uh, at PyCon 2012, and I got to work on a bunch of really cool projects. So every time I've been to PyCon, I uh, sprinted on relational database stuff and ORM, on PyPy, which made my brain melt, but was really, really interesting. I ended up working on a project that I have been thinking about for a long time, but I never got the chance to sit down and just spend the time to work on it. Now, what we're working on today, we're a, a, a gang here, and we're working on G-Event Socket IO to bring all sorts of real-time web sweetness to the Python web frameworks. For me, PyCon Sprints uh, we're, uh, it was a really good excuse to just sit down and finally write that, that piece of software. Basically, we're going to do something that's sweet and that's even better than the Node.js implementation. And we'll be able to have those integration layer with Flask and Django because all those excellent guys are here. It's not done yet, so I can, I'm not going to share too much about it. But Amazing support from, you know, from the community, from the people around, so I can actually just you know, shout out on RSC, oh my god, I don't know what's going on. I've got this horrible import error. Unfortunately, but it's I'm working on it right now. Sprints are ongoing, and uh, I'm really excited about it. Because there's already one version that was existing before, but now I think it's better. You know, the, the core founder, the product, the core maintainer, will come over and give me a hand. And that, you know, that's just the kind of incredible thing you can get at the Python Sprints. Hi, my name is Doug. Um, I'm sprinting on BuildBot this week. That's the Python Compute Integration System. Uh, uh, hi, I'm Martin. I'm from Dropbox, and I just came by the sprints to talk about the Dropbox API. And... So I'm a total new. Uh, I'm totally learning Python right now. That's actually why I'm at PyCon, so I can learn more about Python. And it's been very cool. There's there was about six of us yesterday, and experienced developers there. So questions answered really quickly and get help really fast. And this is the first time I've been to either PyCon, PyCon or Sprints. People were really receptive and uh, it seems like a very cool thing. It's great. It's a great way to program, great way to learn new stuff and work with people, contribute to the community. That's why I'm here. We'll definitely try to do more with this next year, maybe sponsor the Sprints and uh, maybe sponsor a hackathon or something. It seems like a very cool thing. I've been reviewing patches mostly. I'm the project lead and maintainer. What have other people been doing? 
having fun, writing code. <laughs> I am Anton Sipos. I've uh, been sprinting on Flask as well as IPython, PyEFEM, and uh, CSV Kit. Probably doing too much all at once. So I'm Barry Warsaw. I'm uh, leading the Mailman Sprint. Uh, we have a bunch of people here working on Mailman 3. The most interactive part of the conference, you sort of get to apply all of the things that you've learned in the past few days. Uh, with the people that you've met in um, a real programming environment. I mean, pretty much most of the people at this conference are programmers. You get to uh, program with a bunch of very talented and motivated programmers. Uh, some people working on the core engine, and some people working on the web UI, and other people working on the archiver, and it's going great. And for, I mean, for the amount of uh, money that a uh, PyCon registration costs, it's, it's well worth it for the things that you'll learn. The uh, uh, connections and friendships that you'll make. Um, so why aren't you here? Come join us on Freenode uh, Pound Mailman if you can't be here and if there's any way you can get in the car right now and drive you should come. <laughs> we'll hope to see you uh, here uh, next time. Alright, thanks to the sponsors for making PyCon Grid possible. You fed us and we had some cool stuff. <laughs> Ditto. Thank you. Thank you. I'm going to rush out there because there's a lot of code to do. See you later. <laughs>